Welcome to my video on how to create a RAID 5 array in Windows Server 2008 R2 using the command line. First we're going to open the command prompt as administrator and we're going to use the disk part utility. Next we're going to list disks using list disk to see what we have available for drives. You'll see I have disk 5, 6, and 7 available for this array. Next, I'm going to select disk 5 and convert dynamic to convert it to a dynamic disk, which is required for creating the software array. Next, I will select disk 6 and convert dynamic again. As you can imagine, I will next select disk 7 and convert dynamic. Now that I've converted my disks to dynamic, I'm going to create volume raid disk equals 5, 6, 7. And what this will do is this will create a volume that is a raid 5, even though there's no 5 in that, with the disks 5, 6, and 7. Now this will take a moment, so be patient with me. And next, we will list volumes to see what volumes we have available now. You'll notice we have volume 5 with a file system of raw with a type of RAID 5. It also has an asterisk next to it to show that it is the current selected volume. To make this usable, we need to format it using format quick, and then we need to assign it a drive letter. To assign it a drive letter, we use assign letter equals G. You could also use any other uh, letter you want for that particular volume. Now we will list volumes again by doing list volume and you will see we now have volume 5 letter G file system NTFS and it's a RAID 5 type. If you go to start and computer you'll also see that now you have local disk G. Thank you for watching my video.